lots of water. So we're gonna show you what our project is for right now. Anyone care to guess what he's building? So if you guess compost bins, you're right. So we forgot to pull out the video camera before, but we're gonna show you. This is all pallets, wood pallets. And he basically took them and boarded them all close tight together to where it's nice and strong. <laughs> Lay them on the side, and uh, by doing this, uh, getting four bays out of it, we have a little, well, the property owners have uh, a Kubota tractor that uh, the bucket's like four feet. By giving uh, enough space of four bays out of these uh, five pallets here. Mm -hmm. So it'll be nice because like, well, like Tyler just said, each bay is going to be big enough for him to be able to put the scoop of his Kubota in here. So, um, and, uh, just with the wood that we have here, there was a chicken tractor and, uh, a pallet that was like three times as long came with two by four lengths, uh, put on the flat for strength but uh, I'm gonna be putting more on top here and wherever there's a pallet, I'll cross, cross brace it. Um, the bucket has no need to get it, be caught in any way. Um, yeah, just uh, three and a half uh, inch screws uh, to make sure you go through everything. Uh, line it up, make sure you're straight. Um, it's uh, meant for what it's meant for. It's just uh, how often do you have to replace wood? So don't uh, think that you have to make it perfect with perfect wood. It's <laughs> yeah. like making uh, 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 shelters or pens. Uh, sometimes animals, they, they're not a fashion designist or the decor of the place. It's making do with what you have. Yep, absolutely. So the reason that uh, what motivated us to get this done was um, we were getting ready to clean out the chicken house and um, and replace the bedding and all that kind of stuff and realized we didn't have a place to put it and um, whenever it comes to animal manure it is it is literally gold for your garden and so we don't want to waste any of it we wanted to make sure we kept as much as we could so um, so Tyler has built me, um, he's built me these before in our in garden that we had in Saskatchewan and um, they were smaller um, so he's he has built me uh, compost bins before but these are going to be significantly bigger because like he said we wanted them big enough to where he could just scoop with that Kubota tractor and um, either putting stuff in or taking stuff out or turning it or whatever. So, um, so we put off cleaning out the chicken house for a day or two, so that way Tyler could get this done, um, and then that way we have a place to put it to where it'll actually stay and be able to be used later in our garden. So that's kind of what motivated us to get it going. <laughs> okay, so now you can kind of see how it's going to be. Each bay. There's gonna be four bays. And right now, Tyler just has them stuck there, just screwed in with a couple screws just to place them and then he's gonna brace them up um, afterwards. So, but that's how you do it. And if you have space, you can definitely make, you know, it two pallets wide, you know, and make a nice deep bay with it. Um, we have a drive right here, so we're not able to do that with that one, but we may be able to do that with the middle ones. But, um, so this is how we do it. And this one is just gonna be open. Uh, this side's just gonna be open. It's good to have one that's open on two sides. So that way, if you have a particularly big load of something, you can put it in there. But, um, 
anyway so that's how it's done and if you have a guy like that that's how it gets done too <laughs> So here is the finished product. And here is Tyler with the first load. Good morning. I'll just put in that one. Yep. We've got to move some of that pile out of the way for us to be able to use the first bay. So we're going to go ahead and be putting in the second bay. So the first two bays are a lot bigger, yeah, which the tractor level the yeah. <laughs> and that is a heavy load. It may not look like much, but that is heavy. <laughs> but um, anyway, the first two bays are larger because whenever you first put stuff in the compost, it's not broken down yet, so it takes up a lot more volume, and will basically be um, turning it back and forth from these two. And then we're going to put it here. And then the final result is going to go there because it'll be broken down to a lot smaller space. We may make this another this bay a bigger bay as well, but for right now, we're just doing the too large and the too small. So, and there is the start of our compost. So exciting. I think it's actually steaming. Yeah. <laughs> that's the good part. Yep. That's the good part.